and well I'm not going to waffle on too much but uh, thank God Monday just got to be careful because the uh, nursing strike but it's nice the difference it makes even though it's cloudy as you can see it's just a bit of sun on it a little bit of sun occasionally it's fantastic isn't it this Triumph T100 865 2012 I forgot how nice it is, really. I mean, I've only had it uh, less than 12 months, but you, you leave them there, you do the odd mile or two, and you forget about it, and you lose interest. But, you know, it's uh, ah, cracking. See, with this one, I can put my foot, I can uh, go a little bit because I don't need running in, obviously. With the BSA, I'm just taking my time, it's pretty boring, really. But hey, I don't do silly anyway. It's just having a bit of fun and you want it. I do like these triumphs, I must admit. <laughs> I like all the bikes, but hey, you know. It seems strange getting back off a of VSA, which has got a brand new gearbox. Totally different clutch, very light clutch. And you get back on this, and uh, it's a little bit clunky, this, but in a good way, I mean, a good way. Oops. Nice, though, it's nice to get on a different bike, isn't it? If I got my Anfield 350, uh, sorry, 500, classic 500, like the all year most of has got. And uh, oh, Ian Hughes, and I think Ian's got one. Uh, yes, he has. And, uh, he actually got a 350, I think. Uh, Saddlebags has got one. Uh, it's just nice to bumble along on them. But, I don't know. You can like them all, can't you? It's going to keep the interest going. That's what you got to do. I definitely have another triumph, and it's been saved not this long. I've had it less than 12 months, and uh, then with a bad winter, poor spring, it's not been used much. And I was going to put, oh, I, I've actually advertised it, but I was going to have given it away really just to make space. Well, I'm on two miles now, I'll take the advert off because uh, 5,000 quid, 4,995, 8,000 miles on it because I took a warranty out. But I've had no takers on it, so um, I don't know, I might take it off. I just try to create some space, that's all I'm trying to do. Uh, classics and some classics have got to go, I ain't got no space, so I enjoyed them. I love them, I get too attached to them, and I don't want to sell them, but hopefully I've sold the A7, that beautiful A7, to a guy who lives in Spain, but his daughter lives in um, North Northwich. I'm going to take it down to him, hopefully, on Wednesday if he can get this insurance sorted out. Otherwise, they could all go bally up that. I've got a Royal Anfield 350 Bullet G2. That's for sale. I've had that three years. I've done quite a bit of work on that. Um, So the next to go after that, I think, is going to be the Triumph T110 Tiger Bathtub. That's probably going to be good. <laughs> See, when I take them out for a ride, I don't want to sell them. Working order. I've got a C11, which is really nice. I'm reluctant to sell that, but I don't know. It's all got a price. I told the guy I wouldn't sell it, but hey, it's mine now. <laughs> Do what I want. Um, Chris did buy a bike off you, um, he bought the Hornet from Tamworth, I thought he'd go from Newcastle, but he did still buy it to go along with his Triumph Triple, he, uh, he says, he enjoyed your video mate, and uh, 
and George a little nutter, as did the volume of cycling videos. But I tell you what, I hope you don't put that video on of me. Uh, I don't know, I'm sure you will, Tom. I'm sure you will, mate. I know you put a tiny bit of it on. But, uh, oh God, it's cringe worthy, but hey. For charity, mate. For charity. Next to Ryder's new video is uh, very, very good. Well, I'm not into those sort of bikes, but, uh, but hey, he's done a really good job. Very professional job. Hey, he's like fishing like me, what do you expect? Um, Saddlebags has got a good video out. And I wish I was down there with that lot, but I'm too far away. I'd be great to put a bike back in my van and go down there for a we can. Put a bike in my van. I'd enjoy that. Indeed. Found it last weekend. East Yorkshire. Oh, all of this. I want to scratch my nose. Uh -uh. Hang on. Yep. That'll do. The difference is sun, mate. It's just come out. <laughs> Sun's on. I've got my new John Doe boots on. 163 quid. Oh, well, that's the one. That's the baby. Um, and another pair of new pair of jeans, same sort of money. But Urban Rider, they, they sent me two pairs of jeans. One was 200, 200 quid, I never ordered. But you know what? I ran straight away and they've been sent back. I don't, I don't take anybody's stuff. It was made, whereas people picked it by mistake. I don't take people's uh, stuff. I work for myself and I'm as honest as a day long and I'm going to take that extra pair of jeans and say nothing. I thought, these jeans weigh some bloody weight in these jeans. Uh, yeah, and what it was was the two pairs together. Last week they came. Uh, I forgot the make of the jeans now. Uh, but they're, they're a quality jean. Rock, um, I've forgotten, I've forgotten. But uh, yeah, 180 quid plus the, plus the, uh, the inserts and they were 40 odd quid each. So 40 odd quid a pair, there's two lots in there. Two pairs in there I should say. But uh, I got on the phone and the, the courier picked them up the next day and they gave me a £20 voucher so um, that, that's nice of them anyway. But they're equally nice for me to give them, you know, send them back to them or get them sent back because I wouldn't take any bit of business and they make a mistake, people make mistakes. I mean, people can't afford these days to lose that sort of money on things. So, urban rider. No worries, mate. I'll always buy it. Make it. You send the wrong stuff, I'll always send it back. Let's get to this village. Um, I came here last week, I think, on the BSA. Set of old gates on the right hand side down here. I took a picture last week for the BSA site. Um, the manor house they've got, the hall. It's somewhere here, there we are. I'll just pull over here. That's it. Oh, no, that's not that. The gates, let's see. That's it. <laughs> it's down here somewhere. Where are you, fucking gates? Here we are. Look, here we are. An old, an old, it's not an entrance, but it's a rear. There's a hall down there, you see. Nice, is that, isn't it? I bet you can't see on that, can you? Yeah. Oh dear. Let me have a see. Nice set of gates. 
you can spin, it's been obviously used in the past but um, I can't see it being the entrance to them it's probably the back entrance, rear entrance cause, because there's a nice entrance around the front um, never heard of the place till last week so uh, uh, that's lovely I'll put, put the, the bike there and take a few photographs very nice let's get on I'll go down the front end the little village and I'll and knock you off again you don't need all that This is Everingham. This is this bit. Everingham. A beautiful church round here. I'm gonna have to pull the bike in I think and have a look back the and there's a lodge. A lovely old church here. Isn't that part of your bike there? That's a problem here. Without getting it knocked off, not well, knocked over. There's no little parking space, so I'm stuck really. It's a lovely little village here. Just take it in, I'll shut up. Some people are lucky. I like quiet places, but I mean, it's nice having a bit of activity around. But my, my partner don't like quiet places. I, I like a bit of quiet, peace and quiet, mate. Right, there you go. There you go. Oh, I'll shut my cattle grid now. I wonder what's happened to Ernie B's calf down the road here. I wonder, just closed all of a sudden. Hope the guy's alright. There's a nice little calf as well, I'll show you that calf as I ride past. Got a really big plans for that place. Oh, come on, guys! Plenty of cars on the road, and we're off. Early bees, copy. Should be on the right-hand side down here. So there's no overtaking you. There we are, Ernie B's cough, that's the one there.